Can you guess what amp sim I'm actually using? This is actually a free stock plugin that comes with Cubase and it's called VST Amp Rack. There's also another plugin called VST Bass Rack, uh, which is the same thing, but just for bass guitars instead. Now this is an amp sim, so you plug your guitar or your bass directly into your audio interface using the DI, and this will take that clean signal and run it through an emulation of a head and a cab to make it sound like you're recording a real amp. So here to start with, we have pre-effects. So this is where you can put a bunch of pedals in just by clicking on the interface to the left or to the right. And there are plenty of things to choose from here. I mean, if I want to add one in, we have wah, volume, compressor, limiter, maximizer, chorus, phaser, flanger, tremolo, octaver, delay, tape delay, tape duck and delay, fuzz and reverb. Now obviously we have our main controls for the amp head as well. So gain, bass, middle, treble, presence, and master. Now moving across the other tabs, uh, we can choose from seven different amp heads. Uh, so we have a Plexi, Plexi Lead, Diamond, Blackface, Tweed, Deluxe, British Custom, and then we can choose to have no amp head. On the next tab, we have the cabinet section, and there are six of these in total. Um, so again, these will match the heads. However, we can have the option to turn the cab off completely. So if you want to use your own impulse response loader, in fact, you can use Reverence to load custom IR files if you're interested. We might have a look at that in a bit. Um, then you can do so. Post effects, it's the same as the pre effects, it's just that after the cabinet in the chain. We also have a microphones tab, and we have two different microphones that we can blend between the mix of. So we have like a Neumann microphone and an SM57. And then here we have the option to place the mic central to the speaker at different distances or slightly off access at different distances as well, which is pretty cool. Configuration allows us to put it in mono or stereo. And then the master section has an equalizer, a guitar tuner, and also a master level trim, which is after uh, the master output of the amp. So you can just balance that volume um, in your DAW just from here, which is pretty cool actually to have. So now we've gone over the basics of the interface. Let's just have a look at some of these presets. There is a generous amount of presets. They're not all metal or rock. There's some clean stuff in here too. Um, but reading through some of these, they're quite funny because um, they're either named after certain songs, but sort of slightly changed or they're after certain bands. So for example, we have uh, a preset called Back in Black, which I'm all sure you can guess what that's going to sound like. You know, so we have that classic ACDC kind of sound. We have things like balls to the wall, big clean reverb. do we have in the presets here let's take a look so I quite like the heavier sounds and this one is called flying V solo which I take is a reference to Randy Rhodes <laughs> now because I'm kind of more inclined to play heavy music um, Let's mix two of these together. So we'll have Exit Sandman on the left. And then for the right channel, let's use, uh, what do we have? Meshuggah, 80, Meshuggah Diamond 87, this should sound thick. sounds pretty good for a free one. Now, if you've got your own IR files, you can actually easily load them into Cubase using Reverence, believe it or not. I don't think many people know this. So 
Um, here on the uh, exit Sandman preset, if I just come over to the cabinets and turn off the cabinet, it will, I won't play because it will just sound awful. In fact, you know, it's that angry B sound. Um, if we load Reverence on after VST Amp Rack and then expand this, you can go to import and then navigate to your custom IR files, load them in. Uh, I always have auto gain on, you might have to just adjust the level a little bit. But now we have an IR file. And it sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the same for the uh, Meshuggah one. Now we've loaded this custom IR in, what's it going to sound like? Sounds pretty damn cool to me. So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed me ruining your ears. <laughs> but uh, yeah, VST Amp Rack, man. It's, it's uh, one of those plugins that I feel like you need to check out if you haven't tried it already before purchasing an amp sim because you may be able to get the sounds that you need from this and it's free. It comes with Cubase. Pretty cool, right? So hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you all in the next video.